Okay, so look at the title of this on page 23. We're looking at problem solving when the percent changes. And when you first read these problems, they can look kind of confusing. But I'm going to show you a way we can visually draw out what's happening so that it becomes more obvious what the problem is really saying. So let's look first at problem number one, example one. The amount of money Tom has is 75% of Sally's money. So think about just that part of the, the problem again. The amount of money Tom has is 75% of Sally's money. Who has the whole that we're comparing to? Sally. Sally has the whole. So we can actually make kind of like a double number line that we did a little while back. Except this time the double number line is going to compare Tom to Sally. And we're starting at 0%. We're told that Tom has 75% of what Sally has. So we're going to mark Sally as the 100%. Pick one color for Sally. It's going to go all the way to 100% because she's got the whole amount that we're comparing. And then let's turn this double number line into something that's got 50%, 25%, and... 75%. And how far up are we going to do a color for Tom? He's going to go to 75%. Right there, we've just done a visual of the first sentence of this problem. The amount of t money Tom has is 75% of Sally's money. After Sally spent $120 and Tom saved all his money, so is Tom's number line staying the same or changing? Tom saved all his money, so he's not spending anything, so his is going to stay at 75%. But Sally spent money, so her line is going to go down. We don't know how much yet. We know that she spent, so she doesn't have the 100% anymore. Okay, so Sally spent $120. Tom saved all his money. Tom's amount of money is 50% more than Sally's. How much money did each have at the beginning? Use a visual model and a percent line to solve the problem. So this is before. This is at the beginning of the problem. And now we're going to do after. And again, we're going to compare Tom and Sally. And we want our, our percent line to be labeled the same with 0%, 25, 50%, 75%, and 100%. This right here is the only mention of an amount of money. So that's going to be important to us as we try to figure out how much money did they both have at the beginning. So my, my line for Tom is staying the same. Did he spend anything? No. Sally spent $120 and it says that Tom's amount of money is 50% more than Sally's. So here's where we can start to figure this out. She spent $120. How much less money does she have here? This pink represents how much she spent. And if this is $120, how much must this amount be? 
This would also be 120, meaning each of these sections is 60, right? So if that's true, then how much money did Sally have to begin with? She had $240 to start. And how much money did Tom have? Well, this would be 60 plus 60 plus 60. 180. At the end, Tom still has how much? And Sally has? 120. So hopefully you guys can see that using a little color to indicate what we're looking at can help us clarify what the problem is asking. And what I'm going to have you guys do is work with a partner on page 25. And see if you and your partner can do just this one problem. You can use proportion. You can use the percent line like we just looked at. And see how far you can get. Okay? I would keep the colors. Yeah. We'll get them at the end of class. Or at the end of uh, your work time here.